Hello, good morning. Welcome to the 300 take of my new video because my kids are home and there's no way I can get through this without them interrupt it, interrupting me a hundred times. So today's video is about why do we repeat old cycles and why does it seem like the same people and the same situations keep coming back into our lives. So the first thing we should understand is that we have old beliefs and patterns and memories that constantly keep us prisoners of the past. So we basically use past memories and experiences to interpret everything that we see and everything that we experience and everyone that we meet. So we only have our pasts to examine and project into the present and the future. So if your past hasn't really worked out for you or people haven't really brought you the experiences that made you feel the way that you want it to feel, it's because you tend, you, not anyone else, but you tend to project previous outcomes into everything you currently experience and everybody that you meet. So unless you detach your previous experiences from the new ones and not really try to fit everything and everyone in the same boxes and the same categories that already exist in your mind, you're never going to experience something new and you will never see new people as what and whom they are because you are literally reliving your own past in an endless cycle. You're going to hear me say endless cycle, endless loop a lot in this video because that's really what today's video is about. So basically, new experiences and new people are not replicas of your past or of the past because they each, experience, uh, each experience and each person is different. And new but new only potential, sorry, basic, sorry. So new potential really lies only in the in newness, in new people, in new experiences. But if you keep projecting the past onto the new stuff, you can keep getting new stuff, like the old stuff um, encoded in a new stuff. Does that make sense? So typically, the only thing that still hasn't changed from your past is you. You haven't changed. And unless you have made the conscious effort to change and evolve, you are the only thing that has stayed the same and will keep reliving the past and stay in that eternal loop of the same thing. So this applies to your experiences, your jobs, your lovers, your friends, and even your bank account. So anything that might present something outside of the past expectations and results that you really feel like uh, you are so familiar with, um, those things that's new that don't fit in it will be either be misinterpreted by you to feel like they're the same thing, or they will be sabotaged by you and you will continuously run away from potential opportunities. I hope that made sense because to me it makes a lot of sense. Um, that's why the wise and the professionals always say that the only way to change your future is to change yourself. Um, the world might not be the literal mirror of you, but your world is always a literal mirror of you. What you live is a projection of your mind and what you get out of every situation is a product of your own ability to interpret your present experience. And unless you're really willing to let go of the past uh, and see the present and the future as something new with endless possibilities, you are stuck in that endless loop that I keep mentioning. So what can we do about it? What can we really do? I mean, luckily we are constantly presented with opportunities to change our cycle. Um, so what happens is similar experiences and people will keep showing up in our lives and our only power is to react differently to these new experiences that seem so similar to our past. So until we learn from our past and become new people ourselves, we will stay in this loop that I keep bringing up. Um, life always seems to present us with the opportunity to become something new. Well, life does seem to present itself with opportunities to help us become something new. And it gives us the opportunity to reinterpret our current experiences in a way that serves us and breaks the old patterns. So does that make sense? Life gives us something similar, so we have the opportunity to act different. So we basically did not come into this world 
and live, live these lives to be trapped in that mouse wheel that keeps us eternally in the same spot regardless of how fast we run. We are here to evolve. We are here to be more. So the only way to do that is to step out of the wheel, leave the past behind, expect something new, and react differently to everything that seems like the same thing happening to us over and over. So how do we do that? The answer seems simple, but it, like I always say, it takes some effort. So the first thing we must do is to decide what we want in our lives and who we want to be. Um, once we do that, we will have a new premise. Uh, we'll have a new baseline on how to respond to current stimulations and stimuli. So when we're presented with life that seems like a mirror of the past, the only way to stop repeating these same cycles is to expect a different outcome and react differently to what seems like the old situation. But if we don't, then the same situations will continuously represent themselves because still, they still have a purpose in our lives. Do you hear what I said? I said if we don't, then the same situations will continuously represent themselves because they still have a purpose in our lives. Once we change ourselves, we either get something new from the experiences that seem like the repeats of the past, or those experiences will be replaced with something new because the endless loop will no longer serve our newly evolved selves. So let me say that again. The endless loop will no longer serve our newly evolved selves. Um, I was actually recently accused of putting someone I met in a box, but ironically, that person put me and the experiences we were sharing into a familiar box of their own past. So a lot of times what we accuse others of doing is really the same thing that we need to work on ourselves because what we personally experience is a direct mirror of our internal mind and our internal self. So if we don't like what we're seeing and our life feels like the same as the past, we still need to work within our own psyche. I hope that made sense to you um, because that's a hard pill to swallow because we're always wanting to play the blame game and if our lives seem to be this endless cycle we are the only ones with the power to break these cycles and no one else so if we don't break our cycles the experiences and people in our future will stay the same and they'll keep showing up because we didn't change our ways and these experiences still have a purpose in our lives. There's too much energy being put in these, um, the world puts a lot of energy into bringing these things back into our lives. And this world doesn't like to waste energy. So if this opportunities don't really serve us anymore, there will be no energy put in them and they'll go away. So if we don't break our cycles, the experiences and people in our future will stay the same. I said that before, but I want to say it again. And they'll keep showing up because we didn't change our ways. And those experiences still have a purpose in our lives. So I say that one more time to make it three. I'm not going to do that. So once experiences and people stop serving a purpose, they will no longer show up in our experiences and we will finally be free. I really hope that made sense. I hope that I didn't just go on a rant in a way that it didn't make sense. But feel free to rewind this and listen to it again because it's so important. I feel like I find myself repeating the same patterns over and over until I learn. And when I learn, they just go. The same patterns don't serve me anymore. So I really wanted to share that with you. And I hope that it serves some purpose and you appreciated what I had to say. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day.